One of the greatest feelings in a game of chess is sacrificing your queen on purpose so that once your opponent captures the queen, you deliver a devastating tactic to win the game. Of course, we don't want to typically give our queen away, but you must be prepared to give up anything if it means winning the game. Let's take a look at some spectacular queen sacrifices. This position is from the famous opera game. American master Paul Morphy sacrificed material to keep Black's king stranded in the center. He is now ready to make one more sacrifice to force checkmate. Do you notice that if the knight on d7 wasn't there, White's rook could move to d8? The rook would be protected by the bishop on g5, so the position would be checkmate. How can White force the black knight to move away from the d-file so White can deliver checkmate? That's right, with a stunning queen sacrifice, queen to b8, check. Forcing black to play, knight takes b8. Opening up the d-file, so white plays rook to d8. Checkmate. Besides pawns, white only has a bishop and a rook left. But material doesn't matter when checkmate ends the game. Let's take a look at another position. In this position, Black is threatening checkmate with queen to g2. White does have ways to block the checkmate, but it's important not to instantly react and become defensive when you are attacked. Does white have any attacking ideas to force black to react? Although black is threatening checkmate in one move, white has a forcing checkmate combination beginning with a queen sacrifice. Can you see it? After the forcing, queen takes f8. White sacrifices the queen to force the king to the back rank. After king takes f8, white now has a forced checkmate in two moves. After rook e8 check, black is forced back to g7. After king to g7, notice black's king does not have any safe squares. And the knight and the rook work together to deliver checkmate with rook to g8. Not all queen sacrifices win brilliantly, although those are the most fun to play. In this position, white appears completely lost. Not only is white down a lot of material, white is about to get checkmated on the very next move. Notice that the only piece that has a legal move in this position for white is the queen. What if white could offer a queen sacrifice and force black to capture it? White would save the game with a stalemate. Notice that queen b8 wouldn't work because black isn't forced to take the queen and could deliver checkmate. We need something more forcing. Do you see it? That's right, queen to f8. Black is forced to capture white's queen. Black can capture with either the rook or the king, but in either case, it's stalemate. After rook takes f8, white does not have a legal move but is not in check, so the game is a stalemate. Let's take a look at one more example. In this position, with black to move, American master Frank Marshall found an absolutely incredible queen sacrifice. Can you find the move? Marshall played queen to g3. It's hard to believe, but black is completely winning after placing the queen directly in front of white's pawns. Black is threatening queen to h2 checkmate, but this seems pointless because white has so many ways to capture black's queen. Surprisingly, white is completely lost and resigned the game. Let's see why. If either pawn captures, white loses immediately. After h takes g3, the h file is now open and black delivers checkmate with knight e2. After f takes g3, the F file is now opened, and black wins after knight e2 check, forcing white to give up protection of the rook with king to h1. And black delivers checkmate with rook f1. White's only way to prevent immediate checkmate is with queen takes g3. Black can enter the endgame up a piece after knight e2 check, forking the king and queen and forcing king to h1. After knight takes g3 check, the knight captures the queen, and once again, neither pawn can capture the knight. The h-pawn is pinned, and if the f-pawn captures, 
black can capture white's rook and deliver checkmate. This means the only move is king to g1. Black's simplest choice is to trade rooks after knight takes f1 and g takes h3. White captures black's rook but doubles the h-pawns and isolates the f-pawn. After knight to d2, white is now down an entire knight. And with so many pawn weaknesses, a master like Frank Marshall would have no problems winning this game. After looking at these incredible queen sacrifices, are you ready to find stunning queen sacrifices? Let's put you to the test.